Rape victims must bear responsibility for their attacks. Women are the property of men and supposed to stay at home. You think it's disgusting? Well, it's also extremely successful. Women haters are becoming more and more popular and platforms often turn a blind eye to them. An icon of the scene, British-American kickboxer Andrew Tate has over 4 million followers on Instagram. His videos on TikTok have been viewed over 10 billion times. Are TikTok and other social media platforms misogynistic by design? And what can you do when you encounter posts like these? This guy has been called the most hated man online and also the most dangerous person when it comes to women's rights on the internet. Andrew Tate is a British-American kickboxer turned social media influencer. Tate presents himself as a kind of guru, giving advice on how to make money and hit on girls. But a lot of his statements are all about suppressing women. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, say. No, 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 you don't go to the club with your friends. I don't know what kind of bitch-ass dude is letting his chicks go to the club with her friends without him. No. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. I think my sister is my her husband's property, yes. When a bride is walking down the aisle to marry the groom, the father walks next to her and gives her away. We could go on and on. Andrew Tate sure is one of the most successful women haters on social media, but he's by far not the only one. In Mexico, the so-called Hermanos Pancardo or Pancardo brothers are promoting machoism and giving advice on how to manipulate women. They have over 7 million followers on TikTok. Significa que no confía ni madres en ti y que cree que te vas a ir por ahí de zorra o de algo, así que tienes que darle más confianza a este hombre. In Pakistan, Syed Ali Haider is a famous journalist and anchor. On his YouTube channel, he is condemning daughters that want to talk to their fathers about their periods. Me apne baap ke samne periods ki baat karungi. Ye ye inke ye cha azadi kya chahti? Ye chahti na ki ji ham to khule aam periods ki baat kare. हम ऐसे लहरा लहरा के दिखाएं कि ये देखें जनाब वो दिन आ चुके हैं महीने का वो टाइम आ चुका है ये आजादी चाहिए आपको ये बेशर्मी है ये आजादी नहीं है ये इंतहा की बेशर्मी है इसको आजादी कहते हैं आप मुझे एक बात बताइए एंड इन इंडिया यूट्यूबर्स हैव थ्रेटेंड टू रेप वुमेन टू इंटिमिडेट देम a report by the Media Diversity Institute states that an internet subculture known for their increasing hatred of women has evolved in recent years so is there a global movement of women haters on social media? Creo que definitivamente no estamos hablando de casos aislados, ¿no? O de cuentas o voces selectas, sino que eh, todo lo que vemos en los medios digitales y en todas las plataformas, incluidas TikTok, pues van a ser un reflejo de la realidad, ¿no? No podemos esperar que las que las cuentas de estas plataformas no tengan estas manifestaciones. Whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram or TikTok, the platform's algorithms favor videos with lots of interactions. The more provocative the content, the more likely people are to interact, share and view again. In theory, content hating on women isn't allowed on many platforms. TikTok, for example, explicitly pledges on its community guidelines to remove content that promotes any hateful ideology, for example, misogyny. In reality, however, Andrew Tate's videos are being watched by billions of people and the platform doesn't delete them. Quite the contrary. Tate really seems to give TikTok the runaround as, according to media reports, he has instructed his followers to flood social media with copycat accounts posting videos of him. Experts have called that a blatant attempt to manipulate the algorithm, which artificially boosts his content. Twitter seems to be the only place that had Tate banned, but his followers still promote him there. And in the case of the Indian YouTubers I mentioned before, the ones that threatened women with rape, their accounts were banned. So while some platforms seem to do something against misogynistic content, the question remains whether the actions taken are enough. So what if you come across these kinds of posts? 
Should you ignore them? Should you comment against them? Entonces, comentar, enojarte, dar likes, compartirlo y decir, oh, miren esta cosa tan horrible, violenta y misógina, pues también le estás dando exposición, ¿no? Entonces, eh, lo que yo considero que se debe hacer, ¿no? Es denunciar y dejar de seguir a las cuentas. Es que no podemos hacer mucho más, ¿no? O sea, realmente lo único que va a hacer que bajen esa publicación es eh, una denuncia masiva. What do you think? Would you take action against Andrew Tate and other people talking down to and even abusing women online? Let us know in the comments.